There are several different ways to create shadows in episode. First, by creating a silhouette of a character. First, we need to create a shadow character. Make her body color and hair color a silhouette. And remove brows, eyes, nose and lips. When it comes to the outfit, don't hurt something inconspicuous. A bobby pin, for example, because you won't be able to save an empty outfit. The next step is uh, creating an overlay out of a background. We already did something like this in Photoshop in my previous tutorials, but now I want to show you an alternative way to do this. Go to jpg2png.com website and upload your background. I will leave all the links in the description of this video. Download it and if it appears to be more than 1 megabytes, go to compresspng.com and make it lighter there. See? Now the size is acceptable. Upload this picture in the art gallery as an overlay. Open your script and add this overlay to the original background and put it on layer 1. Change its opacity to 50%. Now add a shadow character and put her on layer 0. Let's also do this in the second zone, it will look better there. And there she is. Let's make her do some animation. She will walk from the right corner to the left and she will do this while sneaking. Let's make her do this a bit slower, in 5 seconds. The second way is creating the overlay of a shadow. Put a character on some contrast background and make a screenshot, preferably from your phone. This way the quality would be much better. Open the screenshot in Photoshop, delete all the excesses and use the magic wand tool to delete the white area.
It doesn't work perfectly, so we need to clean some parts by hand. To better see the white edges, create a new layer, put it under the first one and fill it with some bright color. Then take the polygonal lasso tool and select the areas you wish to delete. We can also hide our bobby pin with a black brush. Let's smooth the edges with a blur tool. Once you are done, Delete or hide the second layer and save this image as an overlay. Add a background and a shadow overlay in zone 2 at layer 1. Add some character in zone 2 at layer 0. And don't forget the cut to zone 2 command. We also need to change the opacity of the shadow overlay to 50%. Here is our shadow. The third way is creating shadows in the room. Choose some suitable background, copy it right there in the art gallery and create a new file in Photoshop with a transparent background. Copy it using Ctrl plus V, create a new layer, above the first one, and fill it with a black color. Change its opacity to 50% or so, and using a polygonal lasso tool, select the areas with the light. Press delete. Remove the selection and smooth the edges with the blur tool. Hide or delete the layer with the background and save the shadow as an overlay. Add the background and the overlay. Put it on layer 1. Add a character and put her in zone 2 at layer 0. Add cut to zone 2 command. That's how the room shadow works. Looks quite cool, isn't it? Thank you for watching, I will see you in the next video tutorial.